Hello dreamers, and welcome to The Sleepy Scholar, the podcast that helps you learn in your dreams. I'm Debbie, and tonight I'll accompany you into the mystical world of Irish mythology. This evening, we delve into the timeless tale of the Salmon of Knowledge, a story of destiny, wisdom, and the transformative power of discovery. Settle in and prepare to be transported to a world where ancient secrets dwell beneath the surface of shimmering rivers and verdant forests. First of all, let me thank you all for joining me here and listening to my stories. And before you fall asleep, it would mean the world to me if you could give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so that you can be kept up to date with new stories and help me get this podcast off the ground. If you leave a comment below suggesting a story or even just saying that you've subscribed, I'll do my very best to respond to you. Now, let's get cosy and let the busy thoughts of the day slip away. Find a comfortable position, whether you're lying in bed or sitting in a favorite chair. Take a deep breath in and as you exhale, allow your body to relax completely. Let go of any tension in your shoulders, in your chest, in your face. Sink into your bed and envision yourself relaxing beneath a majestic old hazel tree. Feel the calming warmth of the sun on your skin. The gentle whisper of the wind through the leaves and the soothing rhythm of the lazy river carrying your worries far, far away. Now, as you drift deeper into relaxation, let your imagination take flight. Imagine yourself journeying through ancient forests and mystical landscapes, guided by the wisdom of the ages. It's time to embark on an adventure filled with magic, mystery and the promise of enlightenment. So close your eyes, dear dreamers, and let the journey begin. You find yourself on sacred soil, the Emerald Isle of Ireland, a land where myths and legends dance in the shadows of ancient ruins and whisper through misty valleys. It is a place where every rock, every tree, every winding river holds a story waiting to be told. As the sun sets over the rolling hills casting a golden glow upon the landscape, You find yourself standing at the edge of a dense forest. 
The air is thick with the scent of black currants and earth, and the melodies of songbirds fill the air. Ahead of you lies a winding path, flanked by towering trees adorned with vibrant green leaves. Rays of sunlight filter through the canopy, creating dappled patterns on the forest floor below. It is a place of untamed beauty, where magic lurks around every corner. Feel the soft earth beneath your feet, the cool breeze against your skin. Listen to the gentle rustle of leaves and the distant murmur of flowing water. This is a land steeped in mystery and wonder where the ordinary and the extraordinary coexist in perfect harmony. Embrace the magic that surrounds you, Ahara, and let your imagination soar. For in this land of myth and legend, anything is possible. Fado, Fado, in the heart of ancient Ireland, amidst the whispers of the wind and the songs of the birds, a child named Jemnamuel was born. But his birth was no ordinary event, for it was foretold by ancient prophecies and whispered by the spirits of the land. Jemna, who was also called Fionn by his mother on account of his striking fair hair, was destined for greatness from the moment he took his first breath. Born into a world of turmoil and strife, his path was set by the threads of fate and the weavings of destiny. From the earliest days of his youth, Fionn's life was marked by extraordinary circumstances and mystical occurrences. He was a boy of uncommon wisdom and courage, with insight and intellect beyond his years. However, Fionn's journey began in the depths of tragedy, amidst the echoes of his father's final breaths and the bitter sting of betrayal. As he fled from the warriors who had snuffed out his father's life, his heart heavy with grief and rage, Fate guided his footsteps towards a sanctuary hidden deep within the ancient forests of Ireland. In his desperate flight, Fionn stumbled upon the secret refuge of the last remnants of the old Fiona, warriors who had sworn allegiance to his father and refused to serve under his killers. They welcomed him with open arms, their eyes alight with hope and reverence for the son of their fallen leader. Overjoyed to find their young prince alive and unharmed, they pledged their loyalty to him, promising to follow his lead in the struggle against their enemies. But Fionn Still a youth, with much to learn and experience, knew that he was not ready to take on the mantle of leadership. 
And so, guided by the wisdom of his mentors and the whispers of the ancient spirits, Fionn was sent away to study poetry and learn the ways of the world from the renowned poet and sage, Finnegus. Finnegus came to know this boy by his birth name, Gemna. As he embarked on this new chapter of his life, Fionn, or Gemna as we'll call him for now, carried with him the memories of his father's bravery and sacrifice, the legacy of a man whose spirit would live on in the hearts of those who dared to defy tyranny and injustice. Under the tutelage of Finnegus, Demna's quest for enlightenment began. In the tranquil sanctuary of Finnegus's humble home, nestled beside the murmuring waters of the sacred river Boyne, Demna embarked on this quest for knowledge and understanding that would shape the course of his destiny. Each day dawned with the promise of discovery, as Gemna immersed himself in learning, absorbing the wisdom of the ages like a sponge thirsty for knowledge. Together, master and apprentice delved into the mysteries of the universe, seeking truth amidst the mundane and the extraordinary. As they walked the paths of wisdom, a deep bond formed between Gemna and Finnegus, forged in the crucible of shared experiences and mutual respect. Finnegus, with his vast intellect and sage-like demeanour, became not only a mentor to Gemna, but also a trusted confidant and friend. In exchange for Finnegus's teachings, Demna helped out around the home. As he went about his chores, drawing water, lighting the fire, and tending to the floors and beds, he mulled over the lessons imparted by the wise poet. He remained focused on his education and on developing a strong and brave mind. However, Finnegus, with a glint of determination in his eyes, had turned his attention to a singular pursuit, capturing the elusive salmon of knowledge. His obsession with this mystical creature was palpable, its allure captivating his soul. The prophecy spoke of a sacred hazel tree beside a secret pool. A salmon there had feasted on the nuts from this celestial tree, thus absorbing the world's wisdom. To partake of this salmon's flesh was to gain unparalleled insight and clarity. Thinking on this, Gemna had proposed the simpler task of taking the nuts directly from the tree. But Finnegus revealed that the pool where the nuts fell was shrouded in secrecy, so requiring the virtue of patience. And isn't it true, dear dreamers, wisdom takes patience. So, like a moth drawn to the flame, Gemna found himself ensnared by the enchanting allure of the magical salmon, its legend weaving itself into his thoughts and dreams. Then, one cool misty morning, Finnegus stood at the water's edge his figure silhouetted 
against the rising sun. His eyes, sharp as the eagle's gaze, scanned the crystalline surface of the river, seeking the mysterious prize that had consumed his thoughts and dreams for countless years. With each passing moment, the anticipation hung thick in the air palpable like the electric charge before a storm. The river, a mirror reflecting the hues of the awakening sky, whispered secrets of ancient lore as it flowed with an unhurried grace. Suddenly, a splash broke the serene surface, sending shimmering ripples cascading outward like liquid poetry. Finnegus's heart raced with excitement as he recognised the unmistakable presence of his quarry, the Salmon of Knowledge. With deft precision born of years of skill and experience, Finnegus dared not to breathe as he cast his net. It arced gracefully through the air before settling upon the water like a gentle caress. In that fleeting moment of suspended time, the world held its breath, as if the earth itself paused to witness the culmination of a timeless quest. The river, a silent witness to the unfolding drama, murmured its approval with a soft, melodic chorus. Then, with a swift and decisive motion, Finnegus drew the net taut. A symphony of movement and grace as he brought his prize to the banks of the Boyne. The salmon, its scales shimmering like molten silver in the morning light, thrashed and twisted in a desperate bid for freedom its ancient wisdom pulsating with an otherworldly energy. As Finnegus cradled the magnificent creature in his weathered hands, a sense of awe washed over him, tinged with a reverence reserved for moments of divine revelation. Here, in his grasp lay the key to unlocking the mysteries of the universe, the salmon of knowledge, bearer of secrets as ancient as time itself. And in that transcendent moment, amidst the whispering of the river and the rustling of the wind through the trees, Finnegus knew that he had accomplished his magnum opus. With a silent prayer of gratitude to the spirits of the land, he beheld the salmon with eyes alight with wonder and reverence, a humble seeker in the presence of cosmic majesty. He beamed with triumph and relief, as he believed himself finally safe from the prophecy that foretold that someone else would eat of his flesh before him. However, fate had other plans in store. Finnegus asked his trusted pupil, Gemna, to prepare the fire and cook the precious fish while he prepared the rest of the feast for this auspicious occasion. As the salmon sizzled over the flames, 
a blister formed upon its skin. Demna, in a fleeting lapse of attention, burst the blister with his thumb and suffered a burn. Instinctively, he brought his thumb to his lips, seeking relief from the sting. The experience was transformative, a revelation that swept through Jemna's being like a gentle yet powerful tide. In that transcendent moment, he felt the vast expanse of knowledge and understanding flooding his consciousness, illuminating the depths of his soul with new found wisdom. As the realization dawned upon him, Demna's identity underwent a profound shift. In consuming the salmon's flesh, he unwittingly claimed his birthright, fulfilling the prophecy that had loomed over him since the moment of his birth. No longer merely Demna, he embraced the name Fionn, Fionn Mach Cool, embodying the legacy of his father and the destiny that awaited him. By embracing his role as the heir to his father's legacy, he was poised to lead his people with wisdom, courage and compassion. As the echoes of the ancient prophecies faded into the ether, a new chapter in the saga of Ireland's mythic history began, with Fionn Macul at its helm. As Finnegus returned to the fire, the scent of roasting salmon hung heavy in the air, mingling with the fragrance of wildflowers and the earthy aroma of the forest. With each step, he felt a sense of anticipation building within him, a whisper of destiny echoing in the recesses of his mind. But as he came closer, Finnegus beheld a scene that filled his heart with both wonder and trepidation. There, seated by the crackling fire, was Gemna, or rather Fionn, his countenance radiant with an inner light that seemed to transcend mortal bounds. Gone was the timid apprentice who had once stood before him, replaced by a figure of strength and wisdom, his eyes ablaze with the fire of newfound knowledge. And he knew, he knew that this was Fionn, the man who had been foretold. But, his respect and love for the youth transcended jealousy. Finnegus felt a surge of pride welling within him, mingled with a sense of awe at the transformation that had taken place in his young charge. With a gentle hand, Finnegus reached out to touch Fionn's shoulder, a silent gesture of respect and acceptance. In that simple touch, he conveyed a lifetime of wisdom and guidance, passing the torch of knowledge from one generation to the next. 
And as the flames danced in the hearth, casting flickering shadows upon the walls, Finnegus knew that his journey had come full circle. In Fionn, he saw not only a student, but a peer, a kindred spirit bound by the threads of fate and the tapestry of destiny. Together they would embark on a new chapter of their lives, guided by the wisdom of ages past and the promise of a brighter future. For in the heart of ancient Ireland, amidst the whispers of the wind and the songs of the birds, a new legend had been born. A legend destined to endure for generations to come. A sense of calm descended upon the landscape, like a gentle veil settling over a weary world. Fionn, now fully aware of his true identity and the weight of his newfound responsibilities, sought solace by the tranquil waters of the River Boyne. Here, amidst the gentle murmur of the flowing currents and the rustling of the leaves in the breeze, he found a sanctuary for introspection and contemplation. Seated upon a moss-covered stone at the water's edge, Fionn gazed out across the serene expanse of the river, his mind awash with thoughts and emotions as boundless as the waters before him. The rhythmic ebb and flow of the river mirrored the cadence of his thoughts. With each passing moment, Fionn allowed himself to be enveloped by the tranquillity of the scene, surrendering to the gentle embrace of the river's flow. Here, amidst the whispering of the wind through the trees and the soft caress of sunlight upon his skin, he found a clarity of purpose an understanding of his role in the unfolding drama of life. As the world around him faded into a hazy blur of light and shadow, Fionn closed his eyes and allowed himself to be carried away by the currents of his own thoughts. For in the ancient heart of Ireland, amidst the whispers of the wind and the songs of the birds, Fionn Makul sat by a riverbank, a beacon of light in a world shrouded in darkness, a testament to the enduring power of the human spirit and the timeless wisdom of the salmon of knowledge. Now that we've journeyed through the captivating tale of the salmon of knowledge, let's take a moment to reflect and delve deeper into the meaning behind this ancient myth. At its core, the Salmon of Knowledge is a timeless exploration of themes such as wisdom, destiny and the pursuit of knowledge. It invites us to consider the profound questions of existence and our place within the grand scheme of the universe. 
just as Finnegus sought the elusive salmon of knowledge to gain unparalleled comprehension, so too do we embark on our own quests for enlightenment in the modern world. The tale reminds us that wisdom is not merely the accumulation of facts or information, but a deep appreciation of the world and ourselves. Furthermore, the story offers valuable insights into the nature of knowledge itself. The symbolism of the salmon of knowledge feasting on the nuts of a sacred hazel tree suggests that true wisdom comes not from external sources, but from within. Across cultures and throughout history, humanity has grappled with the timeless quest for wisdom and understanding. In this sense, the story transcends its Irish origins to offer timeless wisdom for navigating the complexities of existence all around the world. And so we find similar tales in other cultures. One such myth that bears striking similarities to the story of the Salmon of Knowledge is the Greek tale of Prometheus. In this myth, Prometheus defies the gods by stealing fire from Mount Olympus and giving it to humanity, thus granting them the gift of knowledge and enlightenment. Like Finnegus's quest for the Salmon of Knowledge, Prometheus's act of defiance symbolizes the pursuit of wisdom and the transformative power of knowledge. Across cultures and throughout history, humanity has been drawn to stories that explore the quest for wisdom, the pursuit of enlightenment, and the eternal struggle between divine and mortal forces. Now let's delve deeper into the symbolism of the salmon and its significance in Celtic mythology. In Celtic folklore, the salmon holds profound symbolic meaning, embodying themes that resonate deeply with the culture's spiritual beliefs and worldview. First and foremost, the salmon is revered as a symbol of wisdom and knowledge. Much like the salmon of knowledge in our tale, Celtic mythology associates the salmon with the pursuit of enlightenment. This symbolism stems from the belief that salmon gain their wisdom by consuming the nuts of the hazel tree that line riverbanks, thus partaking of the salmon's flesh was believed to grant profound insight and understanding. Additionally, the salmon symbolises themes of rebirth and transformation in Celtic mythology its life cycle which involves migrating upstream to spawn and then returning to the sea mirrors the cyclical journey of life, death and rebirth, a fundamental concept in Celtic spirituality. The salmon's ability to navigate both land and water underscores its transformative qualities and its connection to the natural world. Furthermore, the salmon is seen as a creature that bridges the gap 
between the earthly realm and the other world, a mystical realm inhabited by gods, spirits and supernatural beings. Its presence in myths and legends highlights the interconnectedness of all things and the liminal spaces between worlds. Finally, the salmon is revered as a source of divine inspiration and creativity. Poets and bards in Celtic culture were said to draw upon the salmon's mystical energy to compose songs, stories and verses that captured the essence of the natural world and the human experience. Through these symbols and associations, the salmon embodies the spiritual wisdom, transformative power and the creative inspiration that were central to Celtic mythology and culture. Its significance reflects the deep reverence that Celtic societies held for the natural world and the spiritual insights that could be gained from observing the cycles of nature. As our journey through the mystical realms of Irish myth and legend draws to a close, I want to take a moment to thank each and every one of you, dear listeners, for joining me on this enchanting adventure. Together we've explored the timeless tale of the Salmon of Knowledge, delving into its depths to uncover the profound wisdom and eternal truths that lie within. From the banks of the River Boyne to the ancient forests of Ireland. We've traversed landscapes teeming with magic, mystery and wonder. Now, as you surrender to sleep, I encourage you to carry the wisdom of the Salmon of Knowledge with you into your dreams and waking lives. Let its lessons guide you on your own quest for knowledge, enlightenment and understanding, illuminating the path ahead with the light of ancient wisdom. And remember, dear dreamers, that our journey together is far from over. I invite you to share your thoughts and suggestions for future stories and help me build a sense of community and connection among dreamers and scholars alike. Your input is invaluable as we continue to explore our folklore and uncover the hidden truths that lie beneath its surface. So until we meet again in the realm of dreams, may the wisdom of the salmon of knowledge illuminate your path and guide you on your way. May your quest for knowledge lead you ever closer to the heart of truth. Ihawai. Good night.